to Maria Klein. Today, I'm going to show you how I do my headstand and I'm going to give you three different tips. The first tip, if you have any clip or something in your head, just remove it because it's going to hit yourself. The second tip is how to build the base that is super important of the headstand that is going to be shoulders and shoulder and it's super easy because basically what you have to do is do this uh, parallel shoulders and grab it but we do it now on your mat so it's going to be something like this and then you simply you open it like a fan and this is going to be your base this is super important the distance of the elbows because if you open the elbows too much it's not a good base. The third tip, super important, at least for me, is try to, to do this if you are not doing it in a studio and you're practicing at home. So don't do it uh, on a concrete floor and neither ceramic. Even though you have a really good mat and using, I love mine by the way, it's super good. This is what I'm using, the leaf form. And even though it's thick and it has a good grip, and my floor is wood, so if I fall down, it's, gonna, it's not going to hurt me so much. So let's start right now, and let's put parallels, the knees with your hips, and your hands with the elbow and with your shoulders. So we are in this double position, okay? And let's put the elbows down. Let's measure distance. So I grab this elbow, I grab the other one, and now I open it like a fan. Once I have this, uh, my hands in the front, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna close it like this. So I interlace the fingers and I put the head inside. So I set the part of the crown first to make sure that I feel comfortable. I grab my head with my hands and I put the hips up. So I try to find the balance, okay, to feel that I feel comfortable and make sure the elbows not too wide because it's not it's not going to be a good pace. And you can start playing with one and then with two and little by little don't go super up just little by little Take a break, uh, break, breathe, so you don't get so much tired. And then after a while, you start pushing very slowly. Don't go, oops, all the way up because it's going to be too tough. Until you do it like that. So, I'll do it. And I put my strength in my abdomen. And it's up. If you fell down, like me right now, um, if you fell down, try to be, try to have a smart uh, landing. So don't twist your ankles or your hands or something like that. So we do it again. When you do this, never look on the side. So you, you first look at me or whoever you are looking and then you do it. And we go up. And basically what I'm using in here are the elbows, the hands, the abdomen, and my butt. My butt, I feel it like tight but not too tight. And some people do flex or pointing. You can play with that. I think that really doesn't matter. What is important is the abdomen. Like this. Try to keep installed like this, like this. Like if someone is pulling you from the ceiling. Hello, please say your name. And then with the practice, you come down. Oh. 
I use my core. I'm very sore after me working out today, but I use all my my core, and I balance my body, landing a little bit toward that side, toward the wall, in order to bring the legs little by little. And in that way, you practice, uh, you work out your abs. I'm gonna do it now in front of you so you can see me. Remember, elbows, actually, let me move the mat. Because now I'm gonna hear I'm gonna hurt my knees. Legs. Okay. Wrap your elbows together. Open the fan. Interlace the finger. Another tip, super important. Um, and I kind of used to do it, but I feel it's uncomfortable for me. The mirror or any other ring because it hurts when you interlace the finger so I keep all my concentration in the headstand but at some point between the bones it hurts me and sometimes I need to stop the headstand just because of, of the ring because it really hurts the, the bone, the finger but I'm used to that so elbows together open the fan, interlace the finger head down Toes up, I start walking little by little. I feel the base comfortable and I breathe. Always inhaling and exhaling, very soft and smooth. And go up little by little. Very little by little. And I feel like someone is pulling me. And it's when I, I squeeze very little, it's subtle, my butt. And someone is pulling me from the seat. You can point or flex. It doesn't matter. Just concentrate. I concentrate myself. Like someone is pulling me. Keeping my up. Like not hard. But like flat. And my butt a little bit like tight. And then I come down. I counterbalance. And I breathe slowly when I'm doing, especially when I'm coming down, that I go little by little. I counterbalance the, my butt, the back, and the legs comes little by little. And I inhale and exhale very slowly, focusing in all the core and also being aware of the back. So I don't do any butt or run movement. I'm gonna do it now on the other way. You can see the other side of my body. The same process, grab the elbows, open the hands, interlace the finger, head down, I feel comfortable in the base, point, start walking, strength the core, exhale, inhale and exhale very slowly and quiet and I have a really good grip in my base right now and it's very smooth this position is very, it's actually relaxing and this is a good way to keep my blood flowing. If you can stay with a practice like this three minutes, it is wonderful for your health. It has a lot of benefit. Pointing or flex, whatever you want, they will get time. You can open your legs, maybe moving a little bit the hips, one side, the other side, in circles. 
counterbalance. And down. And this is how I do my headstand. A few tips, don't put any clip or something in your head because you're gonna hurt yourself. If you can remove any earrings, do it. It's gonna hurt your, your fingers and use the wood floor or something that is not too hard, like cement. Even though you have a thick mat, it is it's not comfortable. And that's it. Hey, let me know in the comments how do you learn to do the headstand and when was the first time? My first time was on the beach and it was amazing and kind of easy because I put my hands on the sun with no towel, nothing, and it was like a little pillow around my head. So it was really nice and really fun and very easy. No too, too hard to fall down. Subscribe to Maria Klein and let's keep seeing more breathing exercises and more movements to practice at home. Bye bye!